Good. Good. All right, now go ahead, rising trot. start off he's pretty even he's pretty square it's pretty easily round so right now focus on your upper body position shoulders square good you keep your heel a little bit back under your hip get your leg back or you can use it a little bit more left leg when he comes against your hand use the leg good straight ahead 20 meter circle at E. Left leg, right rein. Supple and left. Now circle. Square shoulder. That's it. Good, sit even taller, chest out. Shorten the muscles across your back. From shoulder blade to shoulder blade. Good, circle it A. Left leg. Look toward the center line. Good, and now straight ahead. Use the corner, outer rein, left leg, all the way down the long side. Good, he's not as much afraid of the sound today. Supple him a bit to the left. Good, now come out straight out of the corner and make a 20 meter circle at S. So right rein, right rein, right rein, supple left, supple left, supple left, now circle. Because the last time you went all the way down the long side with him against the left rein, right? Yeah. So now plan from S to go straight and make the next circle at V. So there's, there's not that repetition of spending the whole time in resistance on the long side. Now the circle. Still more bend around your left leg. Right rein, corner, now straight. Circle at P again, left leg, left leg, left leg. There. Good, even a bit more trot. Contact right rein and straight. Slight position left, left leg. Slight position left. Good. Now circle. Left leg. There. Feel him on the right rein. Good. Left leg. Good. Continue on this circle again. And then from S, straight ahead. Keep him this soft on that inside rein. Left leg. Supple him left, supple him left. Don't let it away. Good. Ah, don't let it away. Good. Left leg. Corner. Good. Again. Straight. Supple him on the left. Left leg, left leg. Right rein. Yes. That's it. Better. Better. One more time. Balance. Left leg, left leg, left leg. Suppleness left. Onto that right rein. Square your shoulder. Left leg. Yep. Good. No faster. 
doubleness, left leg. That's a boy, that. Left leg, good. Left leg. And then again, the circle at S. So come out of the corner and come straight. Supple, 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 supple. Now circle, left leg. Find your right rein. Every time he pushes against your left hand, he's empty on the right. Good. Left leg. On to the right, straight ahead. Feel your right fist close in the left leg. And the left leg. Good. Right fist close, left leg. Open your left hand slightly wide, left and left leg. There. That's super. Open the right and the side hand slightly wide and use your inside leg. And now give inside rein. Good. Again, slightly wide. Use your left leg. All right. Change rein. Long diagonal. HXF. Look. Upper body back, square shoulder. And straight. Good boy. Right leg. This side's way easier to keep him straight, right? Left right. Right leg. Straight ahead with the circle at B. Right leg, <clears throat> more energy. Sit back over your seat bones with your shoulders. Good. Chewing on the right rein, steady on the left. Once again, the circle. Look at your center line points. Touching at E. More energy in the strut. There. And straight ahead. Prepare for the corner. Super. Outside rein, steady. Right leg, prepare for the corner. That means a little tug, tug, left rein. Good. And diagonal. Tug, tug, left rein. Good. Now you got to have that same balance. Drag left, where the neck stays exactly the same. with the left rein for support is what you have to recognize in this direction. That's it. Long side, close your right fist. Yeah, then ease the left rein to him and, and so that he's left on the right rein. Yep, right rein, soft and left, smoothly. That's it. Left leg, circle at E. That's it, left leg. There you go. 
More energy. Good boy. Straight ahead. Soup of that left leg. That's it. Left hand a little left. Good boy. Good. Change rain one more time. Does he need to walk break before he canters? Okay. And then between A and K, pick up the canter straight ahead in a circle at E. Really keep your chin up, shoulders back. Good. Straight ahead. Right leg. Good. Bring his shoulder up a little more in the canter. That's it. Bring the shoulder up with the left rein straight ahead. Circle at B again. Sit back. Your inside leg needs to touch as the hind legs come off the ground. Now, 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 that's it. Good. Sit back more. Right leg. That's all right. Steady, 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 steady. Change your posting diagonal. And canter. Boy, connected, connected. Circle. Good, right leg. Bending. That's it, bending. Between the center line and B, transition to rising trot. Right leg, one, two, one, two, one, two. Between the center line and E, transition to canter. Bending. That's all right, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. And transition to trot. Good, bending. Bending. That's it, and between the center line and B, transition to canter. Good, keep your outer rein a little bit. Good. You wanna get to the point where the quality of this canter helps to build the quality of the trot. So the balance that you start to achieve in this canter, that's much more uphill and sitting, you want to take it back to the trot. So through the bending, you close your outside rein, relax your seat, and trot in an uphill way. And keep the balance, keep the balance, keep the balance, keep the balance. That's it. And then back to that uphill canter. Keep the balance, keep the balance. Very good. Good. Shorten your reins. Keep this uphill canter. Good. Coming into E, back to the trot. Bending to the right. Every transition needs to be supple on the inside rein. That's all right. Little touch with the whip. Good. Stay sitting. I knew we were going to post. Now, ask for the canter again. That trot. Good. It's all right, but you'll start to see on the video, the balance of the trot is much more uphill, much less flat and rectangular. Keep the reins short, hands together, and a touch higher. You want the straight line from his mouth through your hand to your elbow, 
So the action of the reins is reflection of the action of your back. The action of the reins is not in, in done with your arm. And transition back to the trot. Good, sit, keep it tall. Bend him right. Use your right leg. There, and now canter. Just add the outer leg. Good boy, that was one of your best ones. Collection, uphill canter, uphill. Touch him with a whip. Keep that uphill feeling. And now, the transition to the trot with the right leg on, with the bend right, with the suppleness right. Uphill, into that left rein, right leg. Yeah, yes, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Good, left rein is steady. Bending on the right leg. Good, carry your whip over your thigh. Now to the canter. Add the left leg to the pre-existing right leg. Good boy. Super. Preparing to trot again. Right leg on. Left rein. And shift your weight slightly outside. Good boy. Now we'll let him take a walk break. Good boy. Long rein. Okay, now you can take a break. <laughs> your leg, take your feet out of your stirrups a minute. Keep that upper body totally in that kind of contrived position, right up there. Now, point your kneecap more down to the ground. That's it. And then bend your leg, bend your knee. So you pull your heel just a touch higher there. So that's like when I say a different saddle for you. Yeah. That's where I would like your leg to naturally fall, right? Because right. right now, your heel is under your hip and your leg is around the right part of his body. And in this saddle, your back and your leg is forward. Like if you put your foot in your stirrup now, you gotta push your leg forward to get in it. And, and you can keep your leg back there, but you see now from where the stirrup bar is, your stirrup leather has to be angled back. So when your leg relaxes, the stirrup leather pulls it a bit forward. So that's it. But that upper body, that can be, you know, your leg can get in a different place. You know, if a saddle sits you differently, or maybe that saddle could be raised a bit in the back. Like if it, if it try folding a towel under it or something, just to test it. If it comes back up in the back, jam into his shoulders too much, it would sit you closer to the front and not have you so much. But it looks to be more of what they say a rear balanced saddle rather than a middle balanced saddle. That's a boy. Good walk. I wasn't even watching him the whole time. Good. So hold that upper body there. Really lift. Straighter in your neck. Because sometimes, you, yeah, your neck is a bit forward. Shorten your reins. As you shorten the reins, of course there's going to be more contact in the mouth. So that means there has to be more driving aid to match it. And it doesn't mean that there has to be more driving aid continuously, but until there's an equilibrium between your leg and your hand, you have to keep supplying it. Once he finds a self carriage in that frame, then Everything is peace and harmony. A little more push. Every time the contact gets stiff, the answer is more from behind. That's it. <clears throat> more leg. <clears throat> Good. Keep your <clears throat> wrists firm. Thumbs is the highest point. So he can rely on the bit being stable in his mouth. That every motion that he feels in his mouth from the bit has an intention. 
wither come up 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 your outside rain makes the half ult at the highest point of his ear that's it and the lower leg continues to shape the hind end taller body the quieter you can sit yeah the bigger he can move outside rain Good. Prepare for the transition back to the trot in the uphill balance. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uphill. Sit hard. Strong upper body. Good, good, good. And remember, when you wanna when you wanna post, you should canter. That's it. You know when that trot has gotten to the point where you're just like, shit, canter. This is your rest. And collect, outer rein, and trot, and sit tall. Good. And canter, connected. Good. I would like to see the depart from the trot, maintain trot rhythm to canter rather than Getting a little quicker into the canter. Collect the canter and place it to the trot on the big end round. Keep this, keep this, keep this, keep the outside rein, keep it. Apply the canter departure aid, maintain trot rhythm better. So that it's absolutely instantaneous the depart within the same balance shorten your reins half fault outside that's right sit tall when he pulls on you he has to pull you into the saddle not up and over your knee sit tall and trot sit tall and trot close your outside fist shift your weight slightly outside and good sit 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 good good Good, good. Prepare to canter. <clears throat> so keep the bend left. Your outside leg will go back. Good job. Your outside leg will go back with the departure aid a little bit from your inside leg coming in and forward so that there's more bend left during the depart. Collecting, upper body palm. Sit still. Good. Keep your knee that he doesn't pull you over it. Collecting, outer rein, left leg uphill, look up, and trot up, push it forward, half halt, push it forward, half halt, good boy. There, there, where the neck is there, where the neck is there. Good, keep those reins short like that. I know, buddy, good. Keep it. So the outer leg goes back, inner leg at the girth. Three, all right, that was your best okay. one, right? Yeah. There were no strides of trot to move into the canter. It was just trot to canter, totally through, totally connected. And transition back to the trot outside. Okay, so the canter, you want to gather it to trot. Don't just trot. Okay. Just like you're planning this here. Collect it, keep it connected, keep it connected. There. Good, count down to it. Best time is probably between CDH because it goes a little uphill and this goes a little downhill. Bending left. Good 
good boy on the bed. That was not as good as the other one, but it wasn't bad. Good. Same thing. Between C and H to the trot and gather the canter. Half halt and leg. Half halt and leg. Half halt and leg. And now trot. Good boy. Good boy. Now we better do posting trot and let him go around the whole ring and nod down a circle. Just straight. Good forward. And on the long side, supple this to the left. Connected right. Left leg. Both legs on here. All right. Good short your reins. Right leg, left rein, a little rounder, right leg, good, tall upper body, square your shoulder, good, between F and A, canter, and E, circle right. Carry your hands. Good. Straight ahead. Trot transition at C. Organize him for this transition to be balanced. Uphill and forward. Tall upper body. One, two, one, two, one, two. Straight ahead. Same exercise. This time ask for the canter between A and K instead of F and A. before the depart. Good, connected. Right leg, that's it. Keep the canter uphill, half halt the outside rein so that the aid for this transition to trot at C is a very subtle squeezing of the left rein and your seat stays better. Straight ahead, same exercise. So in the depart, you're gonna focus on keeping your arms exactly the same. I don't care if you post here, because that doesn't look so easy to sit. Right leg. Now, arms quiet at your sides. Much better. You feel the difference? Yeah. Then you don't let it all go inadvertently. Circle. Connected outer rein. Eyes up. Neck straight. Good. Straight ahead. Short reins, prepare for the transition at C with so many micro half halts coming up to it that it's no different. And now it's just a, yes, good. Micro half halts and walk. Good boy, long rein. Also, by the time, third or fourth time you've done that, he's like, I know I'm gonna try it at C, but 
good. Program them that way so that it just gets more and more and more refined that you do littler and littler to get the response. Good boy. He's so fun. He's just like a worker bee. I know. He can go. He's just like that. We could just do this for two hours. My legs get a little jelloey, but I just keep going. Good boy. Something. Yeah. You want to run through a test and video it? It, it, it's, yeah, it doesn't matter. We okay, then let's just work him. I mean, not do a I test. I mean, not that training level is challenging, but yeah. I'll, we'll figure it out. Right. And we have one more clinic before that, too. Yep. So. Yep. Okay, so I think this kind of work yeah. is more useful. Yeah, I agree. And <clears throat> I want to do again, like we did yesterday, a little bit of the counter canner because that helps to straighten him and gets that canner even more uphill. Good, nice short reins. Good boy. A little more trot, maybe post it. Outside rain. There you go. Super. Straight ahead. That is great. Feel where his ears are now. Good. Up here. Good. Right leg up here and yet reaching from in front of the weather. So you practice this line in the trot because then eventually you ride this line in the canner and then eventually you ride this line in a counter change of hand in half pass at canner at Free St. George. It's the same line. Good. Back. That time you were headed more to K rather than B. Collecting, 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 tight outside rain. Good. 
Good. That's it. That's all right. That wasn't true. I was yeah, to... I didn't tell you anything because I was waiting to see how the corners were. Collecting outside rain. Lift him. Yes. Yes. Strong seat. Tall upper body. Good boy. Change rain on the diagonal. Trotting at X. Micro half halts up to that point. Familiarizing him with his hind leg balance. And there, and there, and there, and that's it. Keep that trot. Excellent. Leg on. Calves on. Good. Canter between C and H. Keep that balance. Activity in the trot like this. Keep it. Keep it. Good boy. Straight ahead. Supple him left. Keep the right rein. Good. From F to the quarter line, back to M. Keep the position to the left, to the lead he's on. Same thing again. Quarter line? Yep. Sit tall, eyes up. Good. Now to the center line. So from F, head toward S. Turn. Keep the flexion to the left as you come back. Good boy. Good, once again. Tall, tall, good. Outside rain. Capitalize on that uphill feeling. Good boy. Good. Straight ahead. That's it. Good. Now we're going to do the transition to the trot on the diagonal at X. Short reins. Micro half halts with that right rein, familiarizing him with the balance upward to the hind legs, balance upward to the hind legs. All right. Good. 20 meter. Ask him to stretch. Out and down. Deeper, more connected. Bigger trot, more energy. Good boy. Over the back. <coughs> Good. Good boy. Good. Keep trotting.
time. <laughs> We've talked about doing it, we just haven't done it. Yeah. Good. Such a good boy. One more time and then I'll add a second one. Good. Good Such boy. A Good. When I add the second one, you can walk it. What was that? When I add the second one, you can walk it first. He does have the jumper bloodlines. Uh huh. You want him to know that he trots through this and he doesn't just jump them both. Good. Can I walk that one more time? Yep, one more time. Walk it. I'll do a smaller circle. trot and 
and make the trot um, have a balance similar to the canner. Yes. And, you know, uh, so many trot, canner, canner, trot transitions with him at this point. You know, on a circle and then getting that sense that you can make these little micro half halts all the time so that when you want to make the downward transition, he's just like that instead of like that. He still makes the trot to walk where he squats behind, you know, and he kind of drops. And um, that, that, don't even worry about that yet. Because okay. that's just more of a strength issue and over time, okay. you know, he's going to get better with that. Um, also, for his walk, you know, sometimes doing cavalettis that are set closer, those were set at about four feet. Cavalettis that are set closer, three feet, and then that he walks through, and then eventually they get a little longer, you know, three foot three, three foot six, three foot, so that he starts to have more range in his walk, too. Yeah, I have enough room to set up my bolt. Uh -huh. Awesome. Outside. Cool. All right. Yeah, you should have.